Y'all know Ibasso? You don't. So Ibasso basically makes portable amps and DAX, and they're Chinese-based, but they're, they're, they're really good. And I've never actually gotten one. My friends have been like, hey, I have an Ibasso. You should review them. But no one's offered it to me, and they've never contacted me, and I've never really pursued it. So someone offered me the Ibasso headphones, and I'm like, Ibasso makes headphones and sure enough here they are the ibasso sr1 the world's first high definition headphone okay here's the thing though it does employ a little bit of tech that is not normal uh it's the world's first headphone at least until someone argues in the comments about it that does a silicone suspension so around well this is a fucking terrible example but there's usually a rubber surround that does things and, or the suspension behind it. And apparently the one in this is silicone. It uses Tesla magnetic flux technology, which is like the drivers in the higher end Fostex. And uh, who else uses Tesla drivers? Baerdynamic up there, the T, T1s, T5s. So it's, it's got some interesting stuff going on. Also, I love how the frequency response goes from three hertz, three, which is basically this, to 40,000, which is basically this, hold on. There, I'm doing it, you see it? Where was I? Giant anime titties, that's where I was. Okay, so hilarious, uh, only 22 ohms of impedance with a rated power of 50 milliwatt, which is nothing. So I don't know what the fuck is, who wrote this? Who wrote this? THD, less than 1% at one kilohertz one milliwatt. I don't understand, like, why are you measuring that? Now, the operating principle is semi-open, and I know what you're gonna say, you're gonna say, Zeos, look at these things. They're a giant vent to the world. How could they be semi-open? And they are. Here, actually, you, this is gonna come into it later. Look at, they sound very good. They're $500 and they're a limited run, right? It says it right here in the Ibasso case. You open it up, here's a plate. Number 458 out of 500 limited edition. In fact, by the time you see this, the limited edition is probably over and you're gonna be finding these for sale elsewhere. They love to talk in the in the book, there's a book that comes with it because they're so proud of this, about the um, genuine Italian vegetable tanned leather that regulates, that, that made this band up here. And are you ready to get to the crux of the situation? This is the best built headphone I've ever fucking handled. Like, I've handled the Fostex there, and you get the Sony's, and the cheaper one, the, fuck, I look at the model price, but the expensive ones, uh, Utopias, I got everything from ZMF back there. This is the best built. Can, can we just, is that's all you need? That's all you need for me to be like, all right, I accept you. You need one thing, one major thing, but I will accept you if you are that. So, how do they sound? I don't fucking care. Actually, they sound pretty good. A little bit dulled. Like I would like almost them to be a little bit sharper, but I think that's because there's so much dampening in them. Let's look at the build before I move on. Cause you need to, like you need to look at these and go, you know what you look like when you're wearing them? You look like a 1950s space monster from a fucking sitcom. You just do, all right? So they've got this metal cage that proceeds through that entire thing, as you could see on the box there. If, if you're building a headphone, if you're a company that's starting from scratch to build a headphone, I would highly recommend using this as the example. Because a lot of times people are like, oh, no, no, less parts, more simple, more simple. But what if it was more parts, more simple to make parts? Three rings and then four pieces to hold the rings and then you screw them together and then, you know, this. Instead of making a big clamp, it's just this piece and this piece, and then there's this center piece that they screw into, and that pivots. So this whole piece is like an assembly that's metal, is that, that's metal on, that might be plastic, the center piece might be plastic, but the metal attaches to it, and it just needs to pivot that much. And then this piece is metal, and then you attach to the back of that, the spring steel, and then the sliders, which are very, very stiff. And then for the suspension, and I don't know how they did this, considering how many headphones I fucking have that have suspensions. This is the nicest one. It says I basso audio in Tuscany fucking vegetable tanned leather, which they keep saying it's from Tuscany, so I gotta, they know that the council has verified that this is Tuscan leather, in case you're wondering. And it's be fucking beautiful, like, oh my god. 
Like, yes. And then look how wide it is. And then the inside is like a suede that has all of my dandruff ever in it. I'll clean this before I return it to the owner. And it's just this giant strap and it's so nice. And it's just so well built and put together. And look at the little bolts and holy shit. Ready for the negatives about the build? Here's, I. Right. This is the first thing I noticed before the wire. We'll get to the wire in a second. So they make their own pads and they're nice pads. Like they're slightly angled, big cup. I didn't change them. They're, they're memory foam. They're, I didn't want to touch them. They made a mistake. And I'll tell you what it is. When Brainwaves makes a set of pads or ZMF or Fostex, this seam here on the right side, it's at the bottom and the fat parts at the back. And on the left side, it's on the bottom and the fat parts in the back. They make two different pads. But they're, they cut one corner. The seam's in the top here and the seam's in the bottom here. So they make one pad. It's not mirrored. And they put one on one side, one on the other side, and they rotate it. And therefore, you have a seam up here and a seam down here. Kill me. I wish I was dead. Dead inside. So once you get past that, which you're never going to now because I showed it to you, you can put them on your head and go, wow, these are actually very fucking comfortable. Put on an extra, put on Mombasa again, now something else. Hey, sister so, sister so. They project sound like an open back, but they don't sound like an open back. You put them on, People are outside, things are happening. You put them on, and you just, I just, my, me talking, you could hear that it's like I'm wearing earmuffs. So, which is a remarkable feat considering how open they fucking look. And like, I could just see, like, the driver's in there. But they're doing something to make them semi open and only semi open. Again, beautiful case, Tuscan leather. Excellent sound signature choice for a first headphone. What the fuck is this? I bet so. Because headphones have had MMXC connectors before. The, the, my first pair of M1060s. That was the first thing they changed, by the way. They made them eighth inch. So it comes with this beautifully straight uh, cloth covered cable with a little separator. And then you look at the plug and it's like, oh, that's really nice. It's one piece. No, wait a second. Did they custom machine their own? smaller diameter three and a half millimeter adapter that screws on the front and it matches everything oh that's gorgeous and it says i bass so great fucking fantastic and it comes up here and it's, it's the right length it's like the perfect length for a desk it's perfect then you come to the connectors and it's like what so these are locking mmxes so let's see what's with the right channel in so you go and you got to stick it in and you got to go pop and you gotta rotate, and you could actually see there's a little gap there that shows you where it's going, and that's how you connect the wire. And I hate this system, because I wanna try these balance so bad. Well, there's a way to do it. Let me show you how to do that. First, we take out these unnecessarily fucking locking things. Let's unplug this, so we get line out. On the QES Labs reference, I have this set from a Fio set of IEMs, and it's for a little baby set of IEMs, a tiny thing. But if we get it up in there, and I'm a pro at getting it up in there, hold on. Oh yeah. We can just, oh, get it in there. Now we have IEM balanced. Now they don't take too much power, but they need like ooh, they just just ooh, they just ooh from a little bit of power. Hold on, hold on. I don't know if I absolutely n need it to be balanced, but it's nice to have the option. And nobody makes a balanced MMXC connector like for real headphones, because real headphones don't use it. So it's a little bit nice to, to just finally see something like this. Okay, sound signature. Absolutely worth $500. However, I will have to say, since I stated it, the, um, probably in a past video, that the uh, Focal Elex, uh, I'd prefer the sound of those over these. 
if that's what you're going for. That's the thing. That's the fucking thing. Do you want French made? Come because these are better built straight up than anything. This is like NASA level construction here. Look how flush all this stuff is, and how perfect that is, and how this this moves and is. How is it is? Look how is it is. And it comes in this beautiful case, which has Ibasso audio graved in them and a plate. And you get the wire and it goes in here and it's beautiful. And it comes, it comes with all this pomp and circumstance. Ah, ah, ah. You probably can't buy these anymore. He was barely able to buy them when I actually got this pair. But I'm glad I'm finally talking about them because I look ridiculous in them. But if you just hold them, you just go, wow. Why are another headphones this nice? It's seriously, I, I, the low end, all right, how's the low end? Warm and inviting, uh, maybe a little bit overdone. Like it feels like the Focal, Focal clears where they're like going for a little bit more of the bass, but it doesn't suffer from that like crunchy response where everything happens and it hurts it real bad. What imaging, too. I'm right here on corn. No one's there. And something's just slowly moving. From both sides. I wish they didn't leak. Because they leak so much. I would love to be able to say, oh, they're, they're semi-open. Just like the, the T20s. Well, T20s are supposed to be open, but they're semi-open. T50s. I would love to tell you if we could take these to the office and use them. They sit in this weird category of like, yes, they're $500. They're limited edition. They're absolutely stunning to look at. They're supremely well built. The astronauts would have this in the space shuttle. But they got a stupid wire connector, which you can get by. It Look, just use them on the fucking standard wire. And you're fine. Everything's fine. If you don't want to be dickhead and go balanced, then don't be. Don't be me. That's a good advice. It's the best advice I can give to everyone on the internet right now. Don't be me. Of course, you'll live a much happier life if you're just not me. Put this back in. I do love how secure that feels, though. Like, again, it's it. maybe NASA would use something like this. For zero-G environments, you would just pop in and rotate. Of course, it would probably rotate and click lock, and then a spring would have to be actuated to fucking move it. Let's put this back on. How are the highs, Zeos? Zeos, explain how the damn thing sounds, you bastard. I'm like, all right, hold on. I've been using them alongside, here's the thing. These have shown up in my life alongside the 909s. There was something on the 909s. The entire ZMF thing, all the Focals, I got the Sony Z7s. So these are like the cheapest of the bunch. And then I've got some really cheap Sivgas down there the 004s, 002s, which are amazing. And I might compare their sound up to this sort of level. I'm not joking. But I got to, I, everything I get, I got to try to sell it to somebody. One person, even if it's only one person, is going to watch this review and buy it. That's a guarantee. I don't think I've done a review of a product that one person hasn't bought at all. So you go to iBasso, if they're still for sale, here's what you're getting. You're getting literally the best built set of headphones ever. You could just marvel at You don't even have to fucking use them. Just look at how the hinge system works and look look at the at the at this. I just want to take this off. I feel like I want this. Just this. Like how nice this is, the stitching on it. They went all fucking tits out on this. And it doesn't sound bad. In no way does it sound bad. It's just a very specific signature to Ibasa, which I've never made a headphone before, so I have no idea if this is their headphone. Like, is this what every Ibasa would be? Which is a little bit fuller in the base. Fuller in the base. Good imaging. Not incredibly wide soundstage. Just not. The, the, the Elex destroy it on soundstage. But they're a pleasurable set of headphones to listen to. They don't bother me. These Z-Reviews are, are hammering away in numbers now, just a hundreds and hundreds of headphones and things. 
And all it's going to come down to in the future, because I'm only a man and not a robot, is... Do these headphones bother me? No. This is enjoyable. I could absolutely see myself with nothing but these headphones and just enjoying the Gungrave soundtrack. Or Cake. They're, they're good headphones. I have nothing exceptional to say about their sound quality. They sound like a $500 pair of headphones should. That whole silicone thing and oh my god, they certainly don't do 3 hertz. And they take more power than 50 milliwatts, that seems silly. But I mean, what, what, are, all the, what are our bullet points? It's got the Tesla driver. Biocellulose, that's what it is. It's a biocellulose with a Tesla magnet and a silicone suspension. So that's like three big bullets. Huge bullets. But I don't think that any one of these is doing anything to the sound that is so remarkable that I have to jerk off about it. It's a good sounding headphone, straight up. I'd enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Plug it into that, plug it into that, plug it into anything here. Pretty much easy to drive here. Let's go from that to that. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. These are perfectly fine sounding headphones. They're extremely comfortable and they're the best built things ever. They're just the best built things ever. Ever, like ever. Like I would love to have one blown up like that. I would buy a set for, for Zeos and I would take that art off the wall. Pura, I love you, get off the wall. And I would get a board and I would mount this. I would do exactly this on a board just to look at them. Just to look at the marvel at all the individualized pieces that had to be put together to make it what it is. Because it is truly special as far as that goes. It's just, look at the fucking, just, you see them on the blocks and you're like, oh, what's that? And you put them on and like, oh, that sounds pretty good. Okay, I could live with this. What else you got? And then you move on. I, I have nothing else to say about these Ibasos. They're highs that aren't too sharp. Not not dull, but they're not they're not exposed. They're not like granting me access to the fucking music. The low ones a little bit kicked up from normal, like there's a bass boost on a little bit. But I'm not like upset, and gonna vomit from that. Soundstage, while it isn't very wide, it's like 650 width. HD 650 6xxs. It's kind of like in that range, a little bassier 650. You want to get real real pedantic? That's what I sort of feel feel out of these. However, I would fucking take this. 650s because fuck it's this it's this if they fix that pad bullshit which they're not going to because they've only made 500 of these and they're done but if you put on a pair of pads and have that seam there and then seam on the opposite side other than other than the little weird fucking connection jacks i think you're you got gold here anyway that's uh, this is a short review these are my dailies sound demos in the description Sound demo's probably been released the same day as this. I'm not sure if I'm doing sound demos on this or this and sound demos to break up for two days. The wallpaper with the huge wallpaper. The huge wallpaper's in the description if you want to download that. If you're on a vertical monitor, put it on your phone. You can edit it. Those eyes. That's kind of cool if it is. My Patreon, which pays for me to return all these things. Which pays for the yard sales. The yard sales where if I buy something, if I would have bought these, I would have put them in the yard sale because... Well, actually, I should have, probably would have kept them if I bought them. But um, that's in the first of the 10th. You join ten, the $5 tier, you get in that. You join the $10 tier, you're in a private chat on Telegram where anyone who wants to know anything about what I'm doing or where it's going on or advice, you get it immediately. So all hail the $10 tier. And also you get to see these reviews a couple days early. So if there's a rush on iBasso headphones, you, know, you, get, you get in on that bottom floor. That's it. I think that's all I have to talk about. It's a good review. It's a simple, solid, short review. That's all you need, really. I mean, I'm not just gonna, I'm not gonna wave my hands around for no reason. I really like these headphones. But that's it. That's as far as I'm willing to take it. Ibasso, don't change what you're doing. Keep going. I wanna see the next ones to come out. Where are the SR2s? Give it to me.